How's it going guys? It's Ryan from FullDistortion.com. Uh, in this video we're going to take a look at the Epiphone Les Paul Standard. Now this is a, a new Les Paul Standard and I used to have a Korean made Les Paul Standard for a long time. Uh, it was made in the mid 90's I think and I had it for six or seven years and on the internet now if you read a lot of people say that the Chinese manufactured ones are lower quality than the Korean manufactured ones. And so I thought I would check one out and see for myself. And so I'll let you know at the end of this video what I think about that and whether I actually think there's a quality difference between them. And uh, in the meantime, I'll give you some info on this guitar. This is a 2010 Les Paul Standard from Epiphone. It's made in China. Uh, they have a dedicated factory now where they only make Epiphones. And that is supposed to make a difference, they say. And uh, it's pretty much your standard. Les Paul, it's a plain top, so it's got no flame, it's just a, uh, a plain maple, it is a veneer top. The body is mahogany, and the top is mahogany, the carve, it's all mahogany, just with a veneer of maple on top, so there's no cap on this. Uh, mahogany neck, rosewood fretboard, it's got Grover tuners on it, not just, uh, you know, no name brand sort of stock OEM tuners, so the tuners are pretty decent. Uh, it's just got the stock Almaco Classic pickups that come in this guitar. Tunematic, pretty much everything on this guitar is stock. It's just like you would pick it up off the wall in the store. And I've been playing it for a while. And uh, it's actually, it's, it's, it's quite nice actually. It's got the slim taper neck, which is, it feels to me at least, a little bit, uh, a little bit more comfortable than a lot of the fatter sort of necks that I played on some Epiphones. So it's a really nice feeling neck. It's not really that thin but it is definitely slimmer and it is noticeable. So uh, so the pickups, like I said, are the, uh, the Almaco Classics, they're the stock pickups that come with these guitars. And I mean, they're, they're certainly not, you know, Seymour Duncans or, you know, anything really high-end, but they're not bad at all for stock pickups. I really don't mind them. I particularly like the, the neck pickup. It's got, uh, you know, I like to roll the tone down and it's got a really nice smooth... <laughs> nice, you know, smooth kind of sound. As far as the bridge pickup goes, I don't like it quite as much as the neck pickup, but it's not a bad, again, it's not a bad pickup at all. I mean, I wouldn't feel the need to replace these at all. You know, if I had a spare set of Seymour Duncans or something sitting around, I might, but I, I wouldn't, you know, go out and specifically look to replace these. They're perfectly good pickups. And I am playing through a pod right now, which definitely kind of colors the sound a lot, regardless of what pickups you're using. But, you know, I've played it through a few different amps, and, you know, they're, they're quite decent pickups. You know, I don't mind them at all. So I've got it on the bridge right now, so it's going to be a little sort of brighter, a little hotter. Pretty good sounding pickup. I mean, it's not bad at all. Um, mixed. <laughs> I think gripe that I would have with this from playing it so far is actually the tuners and you know they're not even Epiphone tuners they're Grovers and uh, this, the tuning stability is it's I think they're 18 to 1 ratio tuners so they're not bad at all but I honestly I, I'd call them the weak point I think everything else is really great the pickups sound fine the construction is excellent it just the tuning does slip a little bit more than I'd like it to sometimes but I mean that's easy enough to fix and it's not even that bad you know, it's kind of a pain in the butt. I keep the tuner right up here so I can always fix it. But, you know, that's going to happen on pretty much any guitar in this sort of price range. You're not going to get locking tuners. You're not going to get anything super special. And that could even be a thing with the nut. It could just be catching on the nut a little bit. It might not even be the tuners. But I think I would call that the weak point. Overall, though, I'm pretty impressed with this. I mean, the construction is great. I actually had a, a Gibson Les Paul traditional in a while ago that I was playing. And it was a great guitar, but there were actually things about that guitar, and that's, you know, uh, those are like 2000 bucks or something like that. These are like 500 And there were things with that guitar that I noticed that I don't even notice on this. Like on that guitar, for instance, there was a pretty noticeable ridge 
where the binding met the body, and I wasn't, you know, wasn't sure what was going on with that. This, nothing about that. The, you know, the, the, the finishing details on this, the frets are all great. They're all perfectly level. There's no, you know, there's no sharp tangs or anything like that. I don't really have, there's nothing about this that I can complain with from the construction. And so, you know, decent pickups, uh, decent tuners, good construction, sounds fine. For 500 bucks, I, you know, you really can't go wrong with one of these. Great, comfortable neck. And so as far as the comparison to the Korean ones, again, I had a Korean Les Paul standard for a very long time. I played it a lot, and so I know quite a bit about them. And I'm going to go ahead and say no difference. I mean, quality control is a thing, but like I said, I had a Gibson with quality control product, product problems. So, you know, if you're going to go out and buy one of these, you're definitely going to want to test out what's available to you to make sure you get the best one. But as far as uh, construction standards being lower or quality being lower than these Les Pauls were when they were made in Korea, you know, in the late 90s or in the early 2000s or whatever, I don't think there's a difference at all. I wouldn't hesitate to grab a Chinese manufactured uh, LP standard. So I'm going to say, I'm going to go ahead and say that that whole Korea versus China thing is pretty much bunk. The quality on this is great. Just as good as my Korean one was. It plays just as comfortably. And so, yeah, I mean, for 500 bucks, you should definitely check one of these.